How are we doing, catch up? Okay, okay, that's fair. Because you can sit down for a bit. Your hands are under your bums. I know you're a little bit cold. We haven't had to do this for a couple minutes. How are we doing, catch up? Come on! Come on! Come on, you can do better than that! Come on, catch up! All right, we're awake. Well, I didn't want to let you sleep, man, because these people would scare the hell out of you when they started. I want to thank you for your patience. I met these two lovely ladies. Whoa, whoa, come on, that's not even fair. Man, I met these lovely ladies 18 years ago in Cape Breton at Celtic Colors uh, International Festival, they were known as Celticude. Yes, you were. Uh, and they were amazing. They were beautiful, they were talented, and then they got this guy. Huh? And stuff got real! There are some unbelievable things about Celtic music that differentiate from region to region where you go. Cape Breton is one of the more unique places in the world. PEI is one of the most unique places in the world as well. From, do we have any Oilanders in the uh, audience this evening? There is a dynamic and an energy that the Acadian influence has had on traditional Celtic music that is unreplaceable and unreplicable uh, uh, anywhere else but on Prince Edward Island. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the best of the best that is here before you. They are going to set this room on fire. Are you ready? Are you ready, Kanto? Ladies and gentlemen, Oliva Vistan!
guys doing? How are you guys doing again? All right. So cool to be here. It's been, it's been 10 years since the last time we've been here at the festival. So we are really happy to be here this this summer because we love being in the maritime. This summer is so cool. So thank you so much to, to having us this year. All right, so we're gonna keep on on with the song, and that song talk about it's an old song, traditional song, song from home, and uh, it's talk about that old woman. She's really big, she's really strong, and she's really pissed off. You guys understand nothing in French, but it's a great song. There we go.
was a set that we call uh, Trois Blizzards. So um, we had this huge winter, uh, winter of 2015. I guess you guys probably got a lot of snow. And PEI was horrible. It was just uh, so intense. And um, I started writing the tune when the snow started to fall mid-January. Uh, and I, I said, well, I'll just name it however many centimeters will fall that winter. So it's called 549 centimeters, <laughs> which is a good start, <laughs> yeah. And uh, I was, yeah, it was great. So anyways, we're, we're in this beautiful weekend. It's the summer. We don't want to think about the snow, but anyways, that's the set. We're going to go into this song now. Um, called BB Box. It's off of our uh, latest album that's called Horizons.
Stand fast, and that was Mr. Peter Camp from Arlington, PEI, in that last tune. Keep the new tunes are coming. There's a tune called Just Want to Be Loved by You. Some go into politics or teach philosophy. Some go searching for the great unknown and search for something new. I don't need that kind of stuff. I just want to be loved by you. Just want to be loved. Love, love that is true. Honey, when the sun goes down. 
folks well we're going to try to tune here next this is a song we wrote about the pickle king of prince edward island and his name is mark r snow and for those let's hear from mark some people know mark out there for those of you that don't know who mark is he's just an all-around good guy jack of all trades but one place where mark is really good is in the kitchen he makes his own bread and his own beef jerky and all that fun kind of stuff but he really specializes in pickling and a few years back, Mark decided to enter into all four categories of the pickling competition in the local county fair. And didn't he come out with first place in all four categories? Let's hear it. Come on. Come on. You got to be better than that. Come on. There we go. There we go. Because I got to tell you, that's really big news. Because in a little village of about 600 people, there was a lot of mad little old ladies there. <laughs> so we figured the newly crowned Pickle King deserved his own tunes. There's a tune called the Pickle King Polka. So much, folks. Well, I'm going to introduce the next member of the Rhythm Boys here right now, Mr. Jason Burbine from Summerside PEI. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, Gord. My, my, my. So, in 1997, I was playing Harrison the Mayor, uh, Stan Rogers' tune at a campfire in Summerside, where I'm from. And, uh, and my friend uh, Glenn, he said, Oh, you like Stan? He's like, There's a festival in his name this weekend. Do you want to go? I said, Yeah. And I've, anybody 97 in the first year? And, uh, and I got to come uh, almost 10 times before we finally got to play. So it's, it's uh, for myself, it's, it's pretty special to be on this stage. So thank you for having us and thank you for already treating us good. So we do appreciate it. Here's a little tune I first heard from John Hartford. It's a bit of a love song. I might ask you to help me sing. I might not, but I might. I'm going to ask you to help me sing. That's where it goes. 
Well, I can't seem to learn not to love you. You get to me every time. And you're someone I just can't say no to. You're so good at changing my mind. Here I go down that wrong road again. I'm going back to where I've already been. Even knowing where it will end. Here I go down that wrong road again. Here we go. Before I stop to think I'm believing I've fallen for you one more time Yeah, here I go down the wrong road again I'm going back to where I've already been Even knowing where it will end Here I go down the wrong road again Peter Gant
Folks, so much. You've been such a great audience here tonight. We have time here for one more song. Once again, over on the guitar, we have Mr. Peter Can. We have a few more shows tomorrow, so please come find us out back there on the drums, Mr. Mark Gillis. And, the and up there on the upright bass, Mr. Jason Burbine. From Victor Cannon, the Lord of the Dance, the weakliest little guy in this stage, Mr. Gordy Crazy Legs McKeeman. Well, I never owned no two dollar bill. The only thing she gave me was a cheap old thrill. I never owned no good hearted man. In this life, you gotta do best you can. Pick up the steam, boys, pick up the steam.
Her daddy always said it was the apple of his eye The saddest day he ever knew was the day he watched her die This world ain't wrong, this world ain't right I'm gonna ride the rail for the rest of my life Pick up the steam, boys, pick up the steam The one, the only, Gordy, Crazy Legs McKeeman, folks. We'll see you tomorrow.
much. Thank you very much. We're really happy to be here. Stanfest. It's, I don't know how many years I've been coming here, but it's a lot. And one thing I love so much about this festival is the focus that they put on songwriters and how people come to listen. That is such an amazing thing, and you don't get it very often. So we thought we should pay tribute to a great Canadian songwriter. And we're gonna do that with this next song. I thought it was about time that this song got cleared a little bit, so here we go. 